It's time to rip and tear. Let's rip this mini arcade station apart. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back, Wicked Family. And in today's video, we are going to take a closer look to this mini arcade station. I did a lot of reviews about these little machines. I really love these little cute collectibles. But uh, I was curious what is inside. Some people were asking, can you build a pie in it? I have really no clue. I will try to figure it out. And if I do, and I know how, maybe I'm going to stick a pie in it. How are we? Open, how are you going to open this up? Oh, that's very simple. Hmm, nothing there. So it seems to be the only having four screws that keeping this little arcade machine together. Alright. <laughs> All right, there was no screw in the third place, but nevertheless, let's open it up. Let's see what's inside. <laughs> and this is what we're going to get people. It's not much because, wow, I, it seems to be that these molds are like more like universal molds, if I'm saying this in English correctly. So, like I mentioned before, the first thing that I'm noticing is that this one also got an socket for a speaker. So this means that they are just reusing the little plastic shells or the casings. Um, so yeah, they added here the connector for the on and off switch. And this is the battery compartment. So that is the only thing we have here. Nothing much, if you ask me. All right, let's take a close look at the inside. Here we have the PCB board that also contains the LCD screen. Here we're having two wires that goes from the battery compartment up to the LCD screen, giving him some juice. You have a little ribbon cable that goes to the front panel for the controls and controlling the system itself. And here it goes, goes this wire from the PCB board of the main board here to the speaker. So there is nothing much to it. So let's unscrew this one. Let's see what we can find. All right, let's finish unscrewing the last parker or the last screw. And let's try to open it up. Oh, I missed out one. I missed out one little. Oh, wire is tight. All right. All right, and did. This is what we're going to get. So here we have the LCD screen with this ribbon cable that's attached to the main board. These two little for giving them the space. And let's see what we have here. This one contacts the speaker and this one is for the power supply. So yeah, and on this black dot we are finding the chip that contains all of the games. So, I am very curious about one thing. So then we have still one question remaining. Um, is it possible to buy a pie and just stick it in? One thing is for sure, there is a lot of space. There is a lot of space in the thing, so that will not be a big problem. So we need to find a conversion board that can support this little LCD screen and we can connect everything. If you have any idea how we can do this, um, I really love to know. Leave it in the comments. Uh, I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell. If you want to see more teardowns, really love to do it. No problem at all. And uh, yeah, see you next time. Bye bye.